You will lead the human race into a new golden age, ending world hunger, stopping all human conflict, and bringing forth free. Minor grammar mistake! Literally unplayable, literally unpressable. What do you mean? Yeah, today I am going to play Do Not Press the Button. Wait, no. Will you press. Prep, 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 prep. Is the point to press it or not to press it? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Hey, this one's actually kind of interesting. All right, you and everything you know and or love are immortal and constant, but you can never leave the light. So lamps, sun must always be. What do they mean the sun must always be lit? Hang on, do they know how the sun works? <laughs> Hang on a second, wait, what do, they, what do they mean by, do they mean that the sun has to be lit like in space? I assume it means light has to fall on you. You have to physically be in some kind of light level. Reverse vampire. Yeah, I think, I think it's basically that. Like you, you always have to be in some kind of light source. So I think that would be hard, but if you literally have to be in direct light, that would be terrible. But what happens if you leave the light? It doesn't say. Is it like you are physically constrained and you're physically trapped or do you just perish? Because that doesn't seem so bad. Like I could go a good 60, 70 years never leaving the light. And if I don't, I just perish and that's fine. But if it's like I'm physically tied and constrained to watch the heat death of the universe because if there's a light source on me, I can't die. That doesn't sound good. But yeah, I'm not gonna press this. Like, there's no upside. There's no upside, really. Why, why do people press that? Why do people want to be immortal though? I don't understand. I've never understood why people want to be immortal. That's so, that's so bizarre. <laughs> You can physically, emotionally, and spiritually move any person you choose, but move them where? Where are we going? Your inner thoughts are always... Minor grammar mistake? Always played out as a voice inside your head that can't be cured through therapy and a sentient. What's the difference? Yeah, hey, this is just real life. This person doesn't have an inner monologue, and it shows. What? What are they talking about? They don't have an inner voice. This is why. <laughs> this is how being conscious works. It's how being sentient works. But yeah, the reason why I think this is an absolute no-brainer is because in the modern world, we'd be setting up teleport waypoints. Like you, you place you place a pebble on the ground and you can always teleport back to that pebble, wherever that pebble marks, because then you can eliminate the need for long haul flights. And then I can go to Japan without having to spend 2000 doubloons per flight, you know? So if I can physically move myself into another location, that would be pretty great. Do you know how many social events I've been at thinking, I could be at home right now. 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 I could just do it. I could literally just do it. I could just teleport home and then I could spend five minutes in my bed and then I could go back to the social event. Easy, easy. Yeah, this is so easy. This is like the easiest button press of all time. Who would not press this? 39% of you. That's crazy. I'm actually upset by this. Like, why Why wouldn't you do it? Why wouldn't you do it? What, what is this one? This one is the goofiest thing I've ever read in my life. All humans die, but evil would not be eradicated. But how do you define evil without humanity? To be evil is inherently a human concept. It's a moral evaluative judgment on good versus bad. You might think, for example, a deadly virus that does terrible things is evil. But from nature's perspective, it's literally just another organism that has no sentience trying to survive. So it's kind of like, how can evil not be eradicated if all humans die? Because it's an it's an ambiguous concept we made up. So what happens? <laughs> what happens? 26% of people pressed it. They just wanted to see what would happen. They just wanted to see the concept of evil. My goodness. You find a cure for cancer, but the person you hate most takes credit. Okay, what if you hate yourself? Ooh, you're right. I actually think the person I hate most in the world is me. <laughs> you are the luckiest person on earth, but Everyone plots to kill you. How good are they at plotting to kill me though? Like realistically, given the answers some of these people have given to these button questions, do I believe in the collective ability of humanity to kill one guy? I know chief, I don't know. There are only 8 billion people on the planet. How lucky is the luckiest person on earth? I would posit their luck is probably on average, not that much greater than everyone else's. Because how do you define luck? You define luck as... But I don't think that the most lucky person on the planet would have any kind of luck superpower because they're just a guy and this is reality and probabilities kind of balance out, right? So it's like, 
how much luckier would you actually be? I don't, I don't think you'd be that lucky. Definitely not lucky enough to dodge a bullet or something, because that's not within the realms of physical capabilities, right? So, I think you're gonna die. <laughs> like, if you press this, you're gonna die and there's no guarantee of you actually getting anything tangible before you die. Where's your sense of whimsy? My sense of whimsy is in not wanting to die. Like, hello? I mean, I'm ready to go, so you know how that worked out. 48% of people pressed it. I cannot believe 48% of people press this. I don't want to be here anymore. You can really tell that the 48% of people who press this <laughs> were the same people in chat going, yeah, it's like a luck superpower, right? So you'd never die. <laughs> you will become the world's first trillionaire, but you will form some kind of cancer at some point in the next five years. These button questions really like the idea of cancer for some reason, which is, <laughs> why? You know what? I think I'd gamble. I think I'd gamble. That's surprising. It's so interesting how these questions show the intersection of how much do people value money and how much do people value health? And how much do they value their interpersonal relationships? I think you could do some very interesting studies on this.